put on the global stage by the super-hit HBO show Game of Thrones. Dubrovnik is a city of historical significance and heavenly views. Limestone pavements, secluded islands, and crystal-clear waters are just a few of the things Dubrovnik has to offer. There are a whole lot of other things you can do in the city to make the most out of your trip. Welcome to Multi-City Trips, the multi-destination travel expert for personalized multi-city trips to Europe. And in today's video, we give you our top picks of the 10 activities to make sure you're getting the most out of your trip while visiting Dubrovnik, Croatia. New to our travel channel? We post new videos every Monday and Thursday, so subscribe today and ring the bell so you don't miss out on our latest travel guide, inspiration, tips, and amazing travel itineraries available to your favorite destinations in Europe. To make the most of this Croatia travel guide, check out our recommended flights, hotels to stay in, and more things you can do at each destination in the video description below. For a full list of recommendations, click on the link provided in the description to access the blog post version of this guide from our website. There are many incredible things to do during your Dubrovnik vacation, but these 10 activities are the best bucket list items to make sure you're getting the most out of your trip. Number 1. Circle Around the City Walls A trip to Dubrovnik without a visit to the city walls is simply incomplete. Dating back to the 13th century, these walls have stood the test of time. And even now, after hundreds of years, they are as glorious as ever. The circuit around the old town extends for two kilometers, offering unparalleled views of the streets below and the Adriatic Sea. Don't miss the chance to gaze out across the shimmering water through a cannon portal at Bokar Fortress, or take in the roofscape from the Minseta Tower, the highest point of the walls. With countless photo opportunities, history around every corner, and beautiful panoramas, a circuit along the city walls is a can't-miss Dubrovnik highlight. Number 2. Witness Medieval Reliquaries Back in the Middle Ages, relics were believed to be sacred. For this reason, human remains were carefully stored in gold-plated cases with valuable jewels. Inside the treasury adjoining Dubrovnik's cathedral lies a huge collection of medieval reliquaries, including the gold-plated arm, leg, and skull of St. Blaise. Many of these relics can trace their origins to the Byzantine Empire, some even earlier. To witness something so ancient is truly an experience of a lifetime. Number 3. Visit the Lokrum Island Only 10 minutes away from Dubrovnik, Lokrum Island is a perfect tropical escape from the city. This carless island is only accessible by boat. Pay a small fee, get on board, and head to the island to enjoy lush greenery and rocky beaches. As you tread on the island, you will find peacocks and other animals wandering the island just like yourself. Swim in the clear blue waters or sunbathe under the Croatian sun, Lokrum Island is a peaceful spot to visit on your trip to Dubrovnik. Number 4. Museums of Dubrovnik Dubrovnik is a haven for history and art lovers, and what better way to explore both than to visit museums? Start at the Cultural History Museum, located in an old granary offering excellent exhibits on trade and seafaring. Then head over to the Dulcic Masle Politica Gallery and explore the works by 20th century Croatian creatives. Another great option is the Maritime Museum, situated within St. John's Fortress, which displays ship models, uniforms, instruments, and paintings. There are several other museums that you can visit to learn about the city's past, with each museum offering a portal to a different era. Number 5. Eat Street Food Dubrovnik isn't only rich in history, but also rich in flavors. And the best way to find that out is through its street food that serves authentic local tastes. One of the most famous local dishes is the burek, which is a traditional pastry filled with cheese or meat that is ideal for breakfast. As you explore the city, try chevapi, a small grilled sausage in a pita, perfect for a quick snack. For carnivores who love grilled meat, Dubrovnik's local food scene has something special in store. Behold, rošti a variety of grilled meats cooked in local flavors and served with sides. And if you crave something sweet, munch on some fritule, small donuts dusted with sugar. Number 6. Hike to the top of Mount Surt The hike to Mount Surt may be challenging for some, but it's absolutely worth it in the end. 
As you hike up the mountain, you're blessed with a heavenly view of the city and its nearby islands, with the Adriatic Sea in the backdrop. As the hike is a little tough, make sure to wear comfortable clothes and shoes. There's a cable car available too, in case you're not in the mood to climb down. Number 7. Go for a kayak tour. Dubrovnik hosts multiple guided kayak tours, taking you along the nooks and crannies of the old town. As you paddle along the walls and rocks, you get to witness the towering fortifications from a unique perspective. Seeing the ancient walls from your kayak, with the clear blue water below, is truly worth experiencing. Depending upon the tour you opt for, you may also get to experience Lokrum Island and other caves that are not accessible by land. And you don't have to be an expert at kayaking to join the tour. The tours cater to all levels, from newbie to expert. Number 8. Discover Dubrovnik Old Town Dubrovnik Old Town is characterized by the tall, fortified walls that encompass it. Within the walls lie rich history and culture preserved for thousands of years. Visitors can enter the Old Town through the Pile Gate, which follows Stradun Street, to explore the area and its delicacies. The highlights of the Old Town include the Rector's Palace and the Sponza Palace, which have unique Gothic and Renaissance-influenced architecture. Number 9. Relax at the Beaches The beaches in Dubrovnik are a great way to unwind. Banya Beach is the most popular beach in the city, where you can just chill out and enjoy the sun. It is close to the Old Town and is easily accessible. However, Banya Beach can be a bit crowded, depending on the time of year you're visiting. Beaches in Dubrovnik can get pretty busy in the summer, so getting there early to find a good spot is a good idea. Just bring a towel and some sunscreen, and enjoy a laid-back day by the sea. Number 10. Ride the Cable Car Last but not least, conclude your trip to Dubrovnik with a cable car ride. The station is only a few minutes' walk from the old town, and by paying a small fee, you can ride to the top of Mount Surt for scenic views. As the cable ride ascends, the view encompassing the Old Town, Logram Island, and the Adriatic Sea grows increasingly beautiful. However, keep in mind that the cable car is a popular attraction and is very crowded in the peak tourist season. Therefore, it's a good idea to check the operating times beforehand and go earlier in the day to avoid the crowds. There you have it! Our top picks of the 10 activities to make sure you're getting the most out of your trip while visiting Dubrovnik. We hope you find our guide helpful, and if you are planning a trip to any of these amazing places in Dubrovnik, Croatia, ensure to check our recommended flights, hotels you can stay in, and best things to do during your visit in the video description below. Need help planning and finding the best vacation package to Dubrovnik, Croatia, or other European destinations? Visit us at multicitytrips.com today and see how our travel experts can help you design and personalize your European vacation.